This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From website and online store to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. So one of my most popular videos is when I learn how to cut onions faster. Hey guys, what's up, it's Alex. So today we are gonna call in question a very basic skill in the kitchen. I wanna see if I can improve my onion cutting skill. Back then, I thought it was pretty neat to be challenging the traditional onion cutting technique with something much faster coming from the streets. Wow! This is truly YouTube. This is me reacting to me reacting to something. Here we are, about four years later, and I'm sorry to report that I have been using this cool looking technique about zero times. This technique had two major flaws. One, it's lacking control. It mostly produces uneven rough cuts and two, in the context of home cooking, this technique is particularly unsafe. The blade is not guided so it could basically spin out of control at any moment. In the end, I always, always, always come back to the traditional onion cutting technique. So I guess this is the method I feel the most comfortable with. Now, unfortunately, this is not even remotely as fast as the street method. I'm not trying to be the fastest, not dragging my feet either. This is 30 seconds. Can I get faster? Maybe. So yes, I am faster than four years ago, but it still feels like I'm hitting a wall. 25 seconds seems to be my personal limit. I need to think differently. So there's a book I read recently, which might come in super handy in this situation. The book is called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And in that book, there's an amazing chapter about a mind-blowing principle called the aggregation of marginal gains. Basically, once upon a time, there was a British cycling coach who turned a bunch of losers into one of the greatest teams that ever existed. And he did that using the aggregation of marginal gains. It goes like this. If you broke down everything you could think of that goes into riding a bike and then improve it by just 1%, you will get a significant increase when you put them all together. I don't know about you, but in my world, riding a bike and cutting an onion, it's not that different. I realized it's a pretty strange world I'm living in, but we're doing it, okay? The uh, aggregation marginal gains, we're doing it. Improvement number one. Okay, so this is the knife I've been using for my classic onion cutting technique. Overall, it's a pretty good knife, but it does have two major flaws. The first one would be that it doesn't stay sharp for very long. And second, the knife is a little short. I think I would be faster with a longer blade. So let's just review our options. Now, I could definitely be using one of these knives, but I guess, Extreme cases require extreme measures. <laughs> oh man, this is the finest cutlery I own. Everything's perfect about these knives. The balance, the length, the thickness, and the grip. Oh, I will be faster with this. Now, this knife is already scary sharp. But it doesn't mean we can't get them a little sharper, a little beyond the expected. Mm. 
my next improvement is gonna be about the motion itself. You see, uh, the motion that I use the most for onion cutting would be some sort of a diagonal push cut. So the blade would go like this. But this is not the only option we have. Instead of using your elbow, just using the wrist. That should shave off a few seconds. Shave. Super sharp knife paired with a super fast wrist movement. This is calling for trouble. And trust me, I've been there. I basically slit with my thumb in diagonal like this. Whenever I make stuff and I'm using dangerous tools, I very often use gloves to protect myself. I mean, not only is this gonna bring some well-appreciated safety to the game, this is also gonna free my mind a bit. This next improvement, it's about getting rid of the unnecessary. The traditional method goes like this. First, you do vertical cuts, how many as you want, and then you're supposed to do horizontal cut. Doesn't feel like we're doing much. Why? This is the inner structure of an onion. You've got plenty horizontal lines already, so why would you ever do this? Horizontal slicing, no more. This is the cutting board I've been using so far. It's far from being the most stable cutting board ever. Second, white onions on a white background. It's not making my life easy. That's an easy fix, because I've got a little something in my drawers. Whoa, just the sound it made. This is inspiring confidence. And even in terms of contrast, it's gonna be way easier on the eyes. Now, there's nothing wrong with cooking, you know, cash, but sometimes it's good to know that you can get down to business using the proper outfit. This is what I've got in mind. Now, this is still an early prototype, but in our situation, this is gonna help me, you know, perform at a greater speed. Oh, well, oh, we. Oh, oui. oh, Jimmy! <coughs> knife sharpening, cutting board, apron. Yes, we need these badly. And they are gonna improve my, my, my overall time. But can't we think outside the box? Coming back to the book, yes, he did expected stuff, changing bikes and tires and aerodynamic suits, but also he worked on unexpected stuff. Picking the right massage gel that helps them recover the fastest, a memory foam pillow so that they can sleep better and perform better. That's exactly where this uh, aggregation of marginal gain is gonna shine. En fait, c'est quoi C'est des vibrations, c'est ça Ouais. Ah oui. I just got these professionally cleaned. I mean, look at this. This is just night and day, basically. Basically, I can see again. Now, in all honesty, I didn't tell them that it was for cutting onion faster. I just didn't want them to call the police. Anyways, that's done. Next. So the next one is gonna look a lot stupid. From a safety point of view, this is definitely not something you wanna replicate at home. I should probably put my, my glove on first. Relying on my sight too much is making me a weaker cook. You see in the kitchen, whenever something's burning, I know it because I can smell it. If I did a good job in bread making, I know it because I touched the crust of the bread. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, even for me, this is a little scary. I'm really trying to feel the width of the blade sliding on my finger knuckles. And I'm also curling my fingers backward, like a claw. not bad. It's weird. I was way more aware with my eyes closed than with my eyes open. Yeah, that was a very interesting one. Working with a metronome taught me two main things. The first one is pretty obvious, it's the importance of the rhythm. A little more than that, the importance of finding your own rhythm. So for whatever reason, when I'm cutting an onion at a fast pace, it feels a bit less unsafe if you're sticking to a rhythm. 
So right now I'm facing a little situation where I'm sure you can understand that. <sighs> and I want the wind to be able to convey all the fumes away from me. <laughs> this might actually work. So I've got a little package in the mail today. Cut resistant gloves, but not any gloves, because I know I've been, you know, swinging these the entire video. Now these are something else. They are made out of Dyneema, a high-tech fabric that is more resistant than steel. I'm probably already faster with these on. There's something that has been bothering me about this uh, cutting board. These rubber feet are absorbing a little bit of energy. We're talking about milliseconds of my game. Alex, what about training? What about going to culinary school? I can't do that. Okay, I need to get rid of these rubber feet. These are the pain of my existence. The ideal anvil is the one that just gives back all the energy you give in. I'm ready for the grand finale. I've got my glove, I've got an apron, cutting board, I've got a knife, I've got a nice little breeze coming from this end, I've got the right beat inside my head. I'm ready, man! Bring it on! <sighs> 23. Twenty-two. Oh, now I'm starting to get cocky. It's much easier to go from 30 to 25 than it is to go from 25 to 20. But I feel deep inside that I might be able to pull out a under 20 seconds. I only have one onion left. I'm gonna start from 10 seconds. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> that is 19 seconds and 59 milliseconds. <sighs> feels good. I mean, it feels amazing. 19 seconds, 59. 19 seconds, 59. 19 seconds, 59. 19 seconds, 59. I feel proud. That's how I feel at the moment. It took me four years and about 300 onions to get from 30 seconds to 25 seconds, just by trying harder and harder and harder. But today I try to go smarter. And then I went from 25 seconds all the way to 19 seconds in one day. Small improvements, tiny habits are not just a cherry on top of our performance, but actually can be the key that unlocks significant success. Sometimes it feels like I'm stupid or overkill when I'm, when I'm working on all these little details, but you can see that every little detail matters. Anyways, you take care. Let's catch up in the next one. Bye bye. Salut. Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor. Squarespace. Squarespace has powerful blogging tools to share recipes, photos, videos, and recommendations. Categorize, share, and schedule your posts to make your content work for you, and share your content on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, Reddit, Pinterest, and Tumblr. The Squarespace blogging platform supports a configurable sharing button, letting your visitors share content on all social platforms. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members-only content. Manage your members, send email communication, and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. Buying a domain from Squarespace is simple because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. Each domain comes with an ad free parking page and a free WHOIS privacy on eligible domains. Squarespace sells over 200 top level domains so you can find the perfect name for your website. Choose a URL that ends in .com, .net, .org or even get more specific with one like .art, like frenchcooking.art. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash frenchguy to save 10% off your first purchase of a domain or a website. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video.